What's going on? It's Brian Socia at the T H E B R I A N S O S C I A on Twitter. Love talking wrestling with you. You know that by now. But uh, a lot of stuff going on today. How about WWE with some releases? It's crazy. Uh, Mark Yaden, you know him. A lot of us have seen him, or you might not know his name. He's a guy that sits over by Justin Roberts and Lillian Garcia, timekeeper for years, since probably like the 80s, if not before that. The guy probably loved wrestling. I mean, I'm kind of sad to see him go. He's also the guy who used to throw Stone Cold the beers. So uh, I thought it was really classy. Austin went on Twitter and put a picture of a beer as if he was toasting Mark Yaden up, saying he was the best beer thrower ever or something like that. Just kind of a cool thing. The other release people are probably going to be talking a little more about is Alberto Del Rio. He's gone. Done. Apparently he was fired for unprofessional conduct. And the big rumor going around was, uh, and I say this is a rumor because a lot of different stories floating around, but all my sources that I know told me something kind of like this, that uh, he slapped a WWE.com employee. I don't know if more of that's going to come out or if that really even happened. I don't want to incriminate the guy. I'm just telling you what I heard. Um, but when you look at Del Rio, always seemed like a nice guy to me. He worked hard enough in the ring. It's pretty fun to watch, and uh, you know I enjoyed him. I just don't think he was truly happy in WWE from what you know I've heard, maybe you've read. Uh, and just from what I could see, I mean, the guy was a major star in Mexico, and he should be. He deserved to be. And I just think that he always knew in the back of his mind he could go back to Mexico and make good money and probably be more comfortable living where he wanted to live. That's my thought. I could be wrong. I'm just speculating here. Uh, I will say this, though. It might be good for him. He's kind of just there right now. Uh, if he decides to leave and if they ever take him back... It could reignite his career. We've seen that happen before. The other thing is, again, he's going to make money. He's going to be fine. He's going to be okay, and uh, especially if he goes to Mexico. Uh, what I'm hearing now, though, is he's a 90-day non-compete, so that'll put him out for a while. But when he's ready to talk to different feds, I mean, you got to think AAA is going to be interested in him. I mean, they're going to be expanding to the U.S. What better guy than a U.S. name from WWE, a guy who can speak English and Spanish to help them out. So you've got to think AAA is going to be on um, into him, especially with the heritage he carries in Mexican wrestling. TNA, if they're still around, because I don't know what's going on with that either, uh, Impact Wrestling, I, I want to see him stay around. I really hope they do, and I think if you're a fan, you should hope they do too, because as everyone always says, it's just what's best for business to pardon the pun there, but it really is. I mean, we need them to stay around. I think that um, Del Rio would have a chance going to TNA too. I'm sure there'd be interest in him to uh, get over to TNA. We'll keep you posted on what's going on with all that. I will say this. I have an Alberto Del Rio uh, interview in my archive somewhere. I have a lot of interviews that aren't up yet. Uh, I put ones up here and there. They're a little older, but they still have interesting content in them. And when I do that, sometimes people will jump on the comment section and call me an idiot or just say, hey, that's old, like I don't know. Uh, Or other people get them up quicker than you. Uh, That's not the case. I just have a bunch saved that didn't go up for one reason or the other or that have been taken down and have to go back up. Uh, I'll try to put the Del Rio one up. I think I have a Jerry Lawler interview that's pretty good. Uh, Booker T. I got some other ones. Swagger. I got a bunch. Caitlin. They got to go up there and make the comment if you want. But now, those of you that read those comments will kind of laugh at those morons together that write those comments. Uh, but hey, that's what makes the world go round. Uh, I'll tell you, if I had more time to do this stuff and put the interviews up, I would definitely do it if it was my full-time job. But I'm on the radio. So if you guys can keep listening, hopefully I can make this my full-time job. Get away from the radio. I probably just got myself fired by saying that, if anyone hears this, uh, that I work with. But I, how do I clean this up now? I don't need to. Just keep supporting me, and hopefully I can do this full-time one day. And, and uh, I can put all of my resources and all of my time into it. I put so much into it now, but I hope to do more. Thank you again for listening. We'll talk again soon. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button for exclusives. And also, I'll be doing some more videos and stuff soon now that our wrestling studio which is incredible is almost ready so just keep listening keep checking us out and i only promise better things for you thanks again for giving us a little bit of your time we'll talk again real soon you can always catch me on twitter at the brian socia that's my last plug i'm out i'll talk to you soon thanks again